What's up everyone? This is Silver Slayer. Welcome to my daily 5 p.m. video. This is a very serious, very important video. I highly recommend you watch till the end because unfortunately there's a lot to this. We're going to be going over how gold and silver dealers rip off investors, how to avoid getting ripped off, and also 14 ways to spot fake coins because unfortunately it's not just the prices being crazy high or ripping you off that way some of the silver is just flat out fake so we have a lot to talk about first and foremost i'm doing a 46,000 subscriber silver giveaway the entry video is open i'll link it in the description if you want a chance to win some free silver the link to these three articles will also be in the description so buy gold and silver safely explains how gold dealers rip off investors so most gold dealers rip off investors but you never hear the media talk about this why is that part of the reason is these dealers are big advertisers on television and radio who is left to get the word out to investors about this abuse of investors especially the elder the elderly whom they prey upon and that's that's something that i do want to i, I want to stop here for a second just just a quick second You've all seen those advertisements on TV late at night where they're showing off the, all these American eagles and all these proof coins. And, and for the average person, you look at that and you can tell that it, it's, it, there's something not right about it off the bat. And especially the way they present these coins and they, they use words that you don't even really understand. And they're saying, for the next hour, we're going to be putting this coin at, at a 15% discount or whatever. The, and they have the fake phones ringing all, all the, the entire commercial in the back, making it seem like people are just hurrying and buying all these coins up. And that stuff is is just it's terrible, especially since they do prey upon older, like they say, the elderly. But anyways, it, this is way deeper than that. This is way deeper than that. A lot of times, you also have to, to you, the only way to, to get educated about buying silver safely or, or what the best silver to buy is, is YouTube. And a lot of people don't think about going to YouTube. A lot of people don't even use YouTube. So that's why I try to make videos like this to help because there is a lot of beginner stackers that might not know about Atmex, that might not know about JM Bullion, that might not know about Provident Metals, that might not know about Modern Coinmark, that might not know about SD Bullion. I call those the top five. Ninety-five percent of silver stackers buy from those five places. So anyways, uh, most investors typically find out they were ripped off after the fact. They open their first IRA statement and see their account is down 15 to 30 percent for the first month. And that's not really that bad. When you're transferring fake money into real money, yes, the prices are going to go up and down. But if you hold for the long term and just hold it, you're, you're always going to make your money back. But when we're looking at some of these coins, the premiums attached are just ridiculous, right? If you're going to buy an American Eagle, Nowadays, spot price is $10, $15, but if spot price is $27 and you go to your local coin shop and he's going to try to charge you a hefty premium on a bullion coin, you know, that's no good. But especially online sites like eBay, watch, watch this. Now that the type two Eagles are out, watch all these people. As soon as they get them, relist them on eBay for double the price. Type 2 Eagles are the exact same price as Type 1 Eagles. $36.95 on Atmex, both the Type 1 and the Type 2. But you're going to see people relist the Type 2 Eagles for an extremely hefty premium, especially since they were on pre-sale, so a lot of people didn't get a chance to get them yet. So how do investors get ripped off by these these dealers so gold dealers will use scams such as the following confiscation of bullion coins don't buy bullion gold and silver coins they may be confiscated but these high commission rare U european coins at 15 that that's that's a weird one i mean i did make a video um throughout history all the times that that they did have to confiscate your bullion but that was a weird video by the way most of the time it was um it was for uh it was for a reason and you did get paid for it that's not like they just bust open your door and take your silver you were able to turn it in but anyways let's go to number two 
early release coins definitely one of the biggest early release coins sold at the beginning of the year gold dealers will buy them in bulk and have them slabbed as mint state 69 or 70 and that's what a lot of people do sorry about that um that was really loud um but anyways i i see regular investors do the same thing they'll they'll buy some pandas from atmex as soon as they get them in the mail They'll ship them off to NGC or PCGS. Hopefully, they get a 69 or 70 and then triple the price. That's why I always say pay for the coin, not the slab. Because a lot of times, all of the BU coins you have that you bought from Atmex that are in a coin sleeve or a capsule, those are all 69s anyways, or maybe 70s. So pay for the coin, not the slab, especially the early release. All that stuff is just words. It really, there, there's no way to prove it. And I've even, I've even gone over articles where they literally can't tell. There's no way to tell. So number three is proof coins. These coins are more pretty and... There is no proof they will appreciate faster than bullion, which is true, but there is a market for proof coins. Number four is 1.5 ounce silver Canadian coins like the grizzly bear, polar bear, and cub, and arctic fox. This is the biggest uh, thing going on right now. The premium over regular bullion silver coins is about 30% or higher. This means an investor must make 40% just to break even. There's nothing special about these coins that will cause them to move faster than the price of bullion. So that is an interesting thing. I also would say the colored coins. I mean, there's a very small market for colored coins. Very small. Liquidity is key. Um, but anyways, those are some good points. Now let's go over uh, how you can avoid getting ripped off when buying gold and silver. So every once in a while, you hear about someone getting a fabulous bargain at a flea market. You know, the $25 painting of some birds that turns out to be worth 100 k um, but anyways, you'll probably not be so lucky if you pay a bargain price at the flea market. And that's, that, that brings me to a point. Pawn shops are straight up shady. If you try to take an American Eagle to a pawn shop, even though spot price may be $26, he's going to offer you like five or six bucks. They don't go by spot price like local coin, sh coin shops do. Pawn shops and local coin shops are completely different, completely different. You have to be careful. A lot of people don't know that. But anyways, how do you know that a gold bullion coin marked as containing one pure ounce of gold actually contains one pure ounce of gold? Is it worth paying double or triple the melt value of a silver comm uh, commemorative coin? Where is the safest place to buy gold and silver bullion? Well, I already, I already told you that. So here's some counterfeit bullion coins so although the u.s mint goes extraordinary lengths to design bullion coins that are difficult to replicate there exists a substantial number of counterfeit american gold eagles and other popular bullion coins and and here's one thing i want to say if you ever buy from atmex or any of these other the top five you'll never have to worry about fake silver the only time you have to worry about fake silver is buying on ebay or craigslist but if you just buy from legit bullion dealers, you never have to worry about this. And if you have bought on eBay or traded with people, then I highly recommend you use some of these uh, the tips we're about to go over, the 14 fake ways to spot silver. I might throw in a couple extra that they, that they don't mention. But regardless, you got to be careful. You can buy it for less than spot value of the precious metals content. Unless coins are stolen and a thief is just looking for some fast cash, there's no reason why they would sell you gold for less than spot price. If it feels too light, if the dimensions are slightly off, if the coin is attracted to a magnet, that is a sure giveaway that it is fake. Precious metals are not attracted by magnets. So, um, so let's go over this. There's especially... And this is another thing I want to say. Always know the market before you invest into something. Always know the market. If you're going to start investing into Morgan Silver Dollars, you have to understand Morgan Silver Dollars. You have to know which years are more sought after. You have to know when they stopped minting them because in 1921, that was when Morgan's uh, that was the last year Morgans were minted, but 1921, there's tons of Morgans. So 1921 isn't a very popular year. There's also three different mints that, that Morgans were minted from. 
Carson City being the the most rare, Carson City being the the most profitable. I wouldn't say profitable, I say most expensive. And some years there was tons of Morgans made, some years there was not so many. And not only that, you also have to look at condition. Condition is everything with Morgans. You can go on eBay right now and buy Morgans for $25, but they're going to say the condition is better than it really is. They might say it's a 68 when it's really a 64. They might say it's an NG plus if, when it really isn't. So if you can't verify that with your own two eyes, if you can't tell what the condition is with your own two eyes, then I would stay away from it. So it is unfortunate that articles like this have to be written, right? And, and that's what I was trying to say. When there's money trading in hands, there will always be fakes and frauds and counterfeits. So anyways, let's look at this. There's the magnet test, right? While many fakes can be easily pass a test, silver as well as gold for that matter are both non-magnetic. And another thing is, another thing I want to say is if you weigh it, that's another surefire way. One ounce, uh, silver is a very dense metal. So if they're going to try to replicate a coin for it to weigh exactly one troy ounce with the same dimensions, it's not going to because the other metal that they're using to replicate it with is not going to be as dense or more dense than silver. No other metal has the same density and no other metal is going to weigh one troy ounce that has the same dimensions as an American Eagle or whatever. So as soon as you weigh it, you'll be able to know as well. 31 grams, not 28. Number two, magnetic slide test. Uh, how it works is even though silver is not is non-magnetic, it has a property known as diamag oh, diag uh, diamagnetism. This causes silver to repel when in contact with a magnetic field. So real silver moving down a magnetic slide will move slower than fake silver. So anyways, number three is the ice test. What is this? I don't think I ever heard about this. Cheap and easy to do, get some ice from the freezer and simply, or in simple way to test both silver coins and bars for authenticity. All you need to do is place the ice on silver and watch. The ice should begin to melt immediately because silver is the best conductor of heat. Oh, that's a good point. That's really interesting. I never, I've never heard that one. So the dimensions test, this is kind of like the, um, the scale test because um, if you're looking at the dimensions and the weight, not a lot of fakes will be exact. So, and this is what I was saying, use a, a digital electronic scale because, you know, nothing is going to weigh 31.103 grams that's not silver. Five is a visual test, right? There's sometimes if you look at the nine on the date, if it's in 1995 or whatever, the nine might be slightly off. The O might be a little thinner, right? Something along those lines. You can look at the edge of the coin as well. Um, another way is, yeah, see what I was saying? Like the, the one or the three might be a little different. Um, like the right there, right? There's, there's ways to tell. See what I'm saying? Even the stars are smaller on the fake. The U has no tail, missing veins on the branch leaves. See, stuff like that. So if you do have some coins that you want to, that, that you might be a little curious about, maybe you bought them from somewhere that isn't one of the top five or isn't a legit dealer, you might want to go, go through your stack and make sure. Six is the bleach test, which I would not recommend. Um, is silver will tarnish very fast when exposed to any sort of oxidizing chemical like bleach. There's the ping test, which most people know about. Uh, silver has a certain high-pitched ring to it when struck with another metal. Um, eight, buy from reputable dealers, right? That's the easiest one. Just buy from legit dealers, and you'll never have to worry about any of these. Silver plated, like it says, any base metal with silver plating on the outside to fool the eye. 100 mils, this word is deceptive. It is stating the measurement of the thickness of the silver plate. Silver clad, replica or copy, nickel silver. While silver, while this has a silver appearance, uh, appearance it is composition of 60% copper, 20% nickel, and 20% zinc. So um, the specific gravity test, um, this stuff is pretty complicated. You can actually put silver in water and do all this like buoyancy stuff. 
they also have these really expensive yeah see what i'm saying it's it's just doing the most there's the acid test as well which i wouldn't recommend because it ruins your coin and then they have things like these right these are really expensive but it will even tell you the purity and you can do this with not just silver the ultrasonic thickness the thickness test you know there's a lot of different things you can do um the sigma metallics precious metals verifier fire assay if you're willing to test purity you probably shouldn't be in the industry buying silver with that said probably the most surefire way pun intended is how to test for silver purity and avoid safe Bill, uh, so, uh, fake silver bullion is through fire assay with one with, with one of these you can you know this is the most destructive you have to melt it down so anyways you know these these are all pretty pretty easy tools you can use pretty easy ways to to figure it out except for a couple um i would recommend just buying a scale and weighing it if it's not exactly 31 grams and you know it's fake or you can um you know you can i, I would say scale that's the easiest or the magnet test scale the magnet test are definitely the easiest or the ping test um so anyways yeah like i said just buy from the top five or maybe some other play uh, like go um silver gold bowl you know places like that are also legit so you might find a little bit higher premiums up on places like Atmex instead of eBay because you're paying for the legitimacy. You're paying because you know that coin is going to be real. Plus, Atmex has a very diverse selection. It's kind of like name brand stuff. You're paying for Nike and not some random shoe because Nikes are durable. They last, right? They're, they're, it's a, you're paying for that, and you have to remember that, especially if the coin gets lost in transit or whatever you're you'll get your refund or they'll reship a coin up to your satisfaction where ebay is no refund no return policy stuff you got to think about so anyways i'm going to wrap this video up here like i said i'm doing a 46k giveaway the entry video is open so make sure you go enter thanks for tuning in this was silver slayer i'll see you guys soon peace